Hi guys, I've been here. This is not the video I was expecting to make tonight. It's 11pm on Friday evening. I was expecting Fakir to be announced today. Uh, even with all the ups and downs we've had throughout the day with the medical rumours that were this morning when I woke up, the first thing that I saw um, was some ITKs on Twitter saying that there was an issue with the medical. Then that was kind of rubbished in the echo not so long ago. I'm going to get all of it in front of me now because this is literally just broken in the last few minutes. Um, so that was all kind of the worry. Um, the, Leon came out and said that there was no deal. There was kind of a thought process that that might have been because of a medical issue. Um, Leon thought, well, we'll save face and just say nothing's ever happened. We never agreed the transfer. Then there's been talk about um, the fact that they're a publicly listed company. They're not allowed to announce a deal until tomorrow and they want uh, the incomings to be put onto the 1819 report. Um, loads of loads of things to consider here. Um, it's still not clear whether the deal will actually go through. Um, let's look at the Echoes piece from uh, Half 7, so a few hours ago. Uh, this is James Pearce and Christian Walsh. Liverpool are said to confirm their £52.8 million swoop for Nabil Fakir. Now that was th three and a half hours ago. So James Pearce and Christian Walsh of the Echo obviously have got great sources. Um, they, they they would have made absolutely sure that this is this is true before you know putting this out. I'm going to put my phone here in case I get a Paul Joyce notification because he's actually not said anything yet. Um, Liverpool will pay 48.4 up front, 4.4 on add-ons. He had a medical in Paris after the club's medical staff threw out on Thursday. Um, a second opinion was sought on the issue, so the ITKs were right. Um, sorry to use the term ITKs, but they were right to suggest there was an issue with the medical. Um, those fears were eased, meaning the path has been cleared for the midfielders to potentially become the club's second most expensive ever signing. Um, but they did say it would not be announced on Friday, so that's key here. The deal was never going to be announced on Friday. Um, we knew that at half seven, even when we thought the deal was going to go through as planned. Now, let's look at um, Chris Bascom's piece in The Telegraph from literally a few minutes ago. Liverpool's £53 million move for Leon Midfield and Abbe Fakir is in doubt after the club hesitated on con concluding a deal uh, after his medical. Um, so, you know, we've got conflicting reports here. This is to do with the medical. Uh, a deal has been agreed in two clubs, personal terms agreed. Um, I'm just going to go on Twitter here to pull up some more quotes um, just so that we have. So, let's, so Dominic King of, of the Mail, uh, Liverpool's move has stalled to raise doubts about whether it will be completed before the World Cup. So, Dominic King, um, not necessarily saying that it's over, but it's stalled. Um, so I mean, that, so he's saying that a five-year deal had been agreed. Liverpool's medical team went to Paris, as I said. Um, there have been unsubstantiated claims that there is an issue with Fakir's medical, but Liverpool have not responded. So Dominic King hasn't got an answer on that. Chris Bascom um, seems to be uh, seems to be implying, well, he is implying that the club have hesitated on concluding a deal after the medical. So we've got James Pearce of the Echo saying no issue with the medical, or or the second opinion has been a positive one. We've got Chris Bascom saying that the club hesitated on concluding a deal after the medical. So let's just be clear, let's just be clear as to what he's saying here, because it was after the medical, but is it because of the medical? So he's saying it's unclear whether Liverpool's caution is related to his past injury problem. Um, they had hoped to conclude the transfer before the World Cup, uh, negotiations intensified. Um, so I guess he's not explicitly said it's because of the medical. I've got to be very careful how I word this because you know people people are you know putting their their reputation on the line here with these stories. He's saying it was after the medical um, that the club stalled. Dominic King saying the club haven't responded in regards to that. That's all we've really got. That's all we've really got. James Pearson, the Echo, said it was fine. The interviews have been done with LFC TV, so he's been in the kit. He's done his interviews. Right, Maddock has just um, Maddock has just put a piece up three minutes ago. Okay, so let's have a look at this. This is literally. I wish I was kind of broadcasting this live. So, yeah, David Maddock, Liverpool transfer for Nabil Fakir on the rocks with move unlikely before the World Cup. We thought it was going to happen today or at least tomorrow. I was telling people it was going to be tomorrow just because of the impression that I've got on Twitter. Liverpool have run into problems that has cast doubt on it being completed before the World Cup have been agreed. Um, underwent medical tests at Clairefontaine, uh, but a post-signing ceremony was postponed. Scroll down, scroll down. Liverpool have refused to comment on suggestions there were issues with the medical. Uh, amid reports they have requested a second opinion on certain issues. Uh, 
Conflicting reports from France suggested that the issue is in fact with Lyon due to their accounting practices. So again, that's another factor here. Um, the transfer window officially opened this weekend. Uh, and Jean-Michel Aulas wants to delay any official transfer until the end of the month when any profits from sales will go into next season's accounts. So as I said earlier, there's no indication from either club that the deal is dead, but sources in France have made it clear that as it stands, there's no prospect of an immediate announcement. So there you go. You've got you've got Liverpool here, Liverpool Echo here, saying that um, fears were eased from from the from the medical. You've got Bascom saying that that's when they hesitated just after the medical. Um, but Dominic King and David Maddock kind of not really sure what the medical situation is. What they do know is that no deal is is imminent, and if anything, it looks like it's going to happen after the World Cup. So. That's the latest. Nothing from Paul Joyce. I will just check. Um, I will just check his Twitter. To be honest, it, I, I can't imagine that um, James Pearce would be told that the medical issues fears were eased if they weren't. So I think it. I, I like to think it's down to um, the public list, the company factor, and the fact that Alas wants to go into next season's accounts. I'd like to think that's the case. Paul Joyce could tweet anything at any time. It's 11 p.m. here, just gone 11 p.m. This is the latest. There is a, a worry among, you know, a, among the fans that the deal might be in doubt or the deal's off. This morning it looked like it was off when the United case started talking about the, the medical. This afternoon it looked like it was fine. Uh, it, came, it came out that he had a second opinion on, on this issue and it was going to be okay. We were waiting for the announcement. There was rumours of a nine o'clock announcement. Never happened. We thought it was delayed, um, well, either for, for transfer window being shut reasons or for King Dalglish getting a knighthood reasons. And by the way, congratulations, King Kenny. Much deserved knighthood. Congratulations. Excuse me. So we are where we are, anything could happen tomorrow. Is the deal off? Is the deal just going to be delayed until after the World Cup? Is it going to be announced tomorrow? What I honestly could not tell you. The odds have got it at one to five, so the bookies still think that it will happen, but they're not as sure as they were a couple of hours ago. So we'll have to see on that. Now for Keir to Liverpool is, is stalled. Is it in doubt? Is it off? Who knows? You know, it's, um, it's a stressful one, I mean, that way. Why does this always happen? Why does this always happen? Um, yeah, no one seems to really know. No one outside of the journalists obviously seems to really know what's going on. Neither do I. I don't have any information. I'm just kind of reciting what's going on here. So don't ask me. Um, you know, I honestly have no idea. Just keep looking at Twitter. Keep looking at the reliable newspapers. Keep looking at the Telegraph, the Times, um, Liverpool Echo for all the updates. I'm sure we'll see something from Melissa Reddy soon too. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, but don't panic because if we don't get Fakir, we'll get. You know, we we, we, are, we are in need of a, a attacking midfielder, and we will be in the market for one. Fakir is obviously first choice, um, just like you know last season we had a first choice, we didn't get it. We ended up with Mo Salah, so it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more updates. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and I'll see you next time.